Good morning, babe. Morning. Oh. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I was gonna go make you breakfast after last night. You need a good hearty breakfast. Today's your day. You're gonna make me breakfast? Hell no. Mickey D's. Nothing but the best for my baby today. <laughs> Seriously, I thought we could uh, wake up Papito and the three of us could get some nice greasy breakfast at the Uitos. I don't want to wake him up. Yeah, you're right. He's probably still sleeping after you kept him up all night. Me? Yeah, you were so loud last night, girl. Papo! <laughs> So what do you want to do today? I want to go see the family. They brought your brother home yesterday. I want today to be just about you. It is about me. I want to see the family. Sammy asked me to stand up for him at his wedding. I'm going to help him plan everything. Yeah, help him plan the wedding you never had? Stop that. Have I ever complained? No, but you wouldn't say anything even if you were unhappy. I'm not a saint. When I'm upset, you know it. True that. Papo, I've never regretted any moment of our life together. Yes, we were young and things happened unexpectedly and, and changed things. I didn't have a big wedding, so what? I was pregnant at 16, we were married at 17. I had to finish college to get my nursing degree, but I did it. I did it because I had the support of you and our family. So no, I wouldn't change a thing about how my life turned out. I don't deserve you. Well, no one does either, so I guess you're gonna have to keep me. <laughs> I do have one regret. What's that? That we never gave Papi to a sibling. He's lucky he's the only child. Don't say that. You would be lost without your siblings. I'd be lost without you. You really want to have a kid? I mean, we're not teenagers anymore. You've been promoted to detective and I'm in line for head nurse at the ER, so money isn't an issue. Would you want to have another kid? I mean, the one we have didn't turn out so bad. <laughs> we did amazing with him, didn't we? It was all you. You're a great father. A girl would be nice. Papita. Hell no! Come on. <laughs> Ayana. So, what about breakfast? Well, we gotta get started on that kid now. <laughs> You're not getting any younger. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Baby, I have to get that. Well, if it's work, you're off today and you're not going in. It's not work. It's the doctor with my test results. Don't answer that! Happy birthday, baby. Wait it, young man. You were quiet the whole ride over here. Sit down. I want an explanation. I'm gonna go grab the ice. I can't believe that you were in a fight. Look at you. You can't use the other guy. Oh, really? You think this is funny? Why were you fighting? I don't understand. That seems to be your answer for everything lately. I'm getting sick of it. Fine, fine. Wait till your father gets home. 
my god, I sound like my mother. Mom? Yes, baby. What to spit? Did someone call you that? Baby. Spick stands for Spanish person in control. Thanks, Mom. Can I help you? Uh, my brother and his wife used to live here. And just a lot of memories came flooding back, you know? No, whatever. Anyway, um, I have an alarm system and a 200 pound Rottweiler, so watch it. Okay. You were so lucky that Papo is working overnight. Thanks for coming to get me. <laughs> I can't go home like this. <laughs> Sit down, Steve. No, seriously, it means a lot that you came to get me. I couldn't call Sammy. <laughs> Why not? <sighs> he would be so disappointed in me. And Lord as a normal would never let me live it down. Here, drink some water. Better. Slowly. I don't feel good. It's hot in here. Where's Papito? He's sleeping over at our friend's house. Papito. Why were you out drinking? You know you're not old enough yet, Nene. I know, I know. I just, you know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, you know you didn't say anything just now, right? I, I just, um, you know, school is hard, okay? School is really effing hard. There's, I, I have a lot of work piled up, and I'm feeling a little stressed. I can understand that. I, I've been working on this really important paper and stuff, and I just feel like I have a lot on my plate right now. Then there's all this other crap going on at school. Mm. What's her name? What? What's her name? I know that's what this has to be about. No, nah, no, nah, it's just it's just other stuff like friends being weird and shit. Okay. If you say so. So? Her name's Mia. I knew it. How? The last time you were over for dinner, Papa was like, "Do you know why my brother's been in the corner texting?" It was nice out. Everyone was out back eating, and I knew Something was definitely wrong when your mom offered you Benny and you said no. You were just sitting there texting with this look on your face. I know that look. I've had that look. I've caused that look. What? Get out of here. What? You think I was born and then met your brother? No, no, no. I dated other guys. But your brother, he had it. Whatever it is, he had it. And here I am, and I couldn't be happier. You see? Now when is some girl gonna say that about me? You, Bapo gets looks. Uh, uh, Bapo gets looks. He, he doesn't return them. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, shit. Just because I went to nursing school doesn't mean I always have to look out for the health of the public. I'm not gonna bitch out if I see her looking at my husband. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Bapo loves you. Maybe he's also a little scared of you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, even even Sammy gets looks. He's not even interested in he gets looks. What kind of ridiculous bullshit is that? I get nothing. Ay, Dios mio, stop. Of course you do. The comencita from down the block doesn't count. Ay, please. Yes, it does. She's pretty, you know. At the right angle. No, oh, God, no. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, not, not on my sofa, you're not. Levantate. Come on, we're going over to the I'm bathroom. I'm kidding, Bonnie. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just gonna keep drinking this water until it stops feeling like someone threw a brick at my head. Listen, when I was going through nursing school, it was even worse. I had just gotten married. I had the baby. But I had to push through. I have a career that I love. 
and a family that I am so incredibly happy to have. I know you're working really hard to get into a good school. And even if you get into a city school, we're all going to be so proud of you. Yeah, you guys did get married really young. I was just trying to make sure no little pulti pulka from around here snatched them up before I could. <laughs> Damn, for real? <laughs> no, dummy. When I met your brother, he looked right at me and I just knew. He looked right into my eyes and it's like, it's like all the air got knocked right out of me. It was like prickly. Prickly? That sounds painful. <laughs> no, like goosebumps, but in waves across my whole body. It was scary. The way a roller coaster is scary. The wind, it, it just knocks you out and you're like, whew. That was intense. Adrenaline intense. Damn. You have that ability. I know it. You, Ramirez men, are really something. You're gonna look right into some girl's eyes one day and she's gonna feel the same exact way. She's gonna know and you're gonna know. I promise. Bonnie, this is weird. Why, Tito? Because when, when Papo first brought you over to meet all of us, I was like, damn, that girl is so beautiful. And I was kind of jealous of him. Because I figured like this, he's my brother and we have the same genes. So his Papi Chulo ability should be in me too, right? So I was like, where's my beautiful girlfriend? I should have one too. Yeah, Papo's a foot taller than me. Yeah, I'm short. But I'm hilarious. Isn't that enough? <laughs> <laughs> Ay, nene, What's you're... so funny? What's so funny? What's so funny? <laughs> you're not telling me what I think you're telling me, are you? I mean, you know, maybe. I got over it. it was <sighs> that one time. Oh, Pito. You're so cute. I can't with you. I am so cute. That's why I'm single. And Mia's supposedly dating my friend. It's all some big secret, but everybody's being mad awkward about it. So then why don't you go talk to her? I tried that. When? Tonight. Hmm. Was that before or after the vodka Red Bull? Um, after? Pito! Bonnie! Oh. Come on, you never do that. What did you say? Oh, I can't even get into that. <laughs> it's too depressing. Try me. I told her. Yes. I I told her that that she. Uh, oh man. I I told her that that she was my starshine. Starshine. Yep. I told her that the light in her eyes was poured into her by the Big Dipper and that it, it shone to me so brightly and I thought I was gonna go blind. Like, for real? Verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel you have a lot to learn. Yeah, tell me about it. You should ask Bobble for pointers. I probably should. Whatever he does works. He got you. Sure did. Thanks. For what? For helping me to see how ridiculous I am. <laughs> you didn't need help with that. You figured that out on your own. Hey! I'm just agreeing with you, Nene. Can I ask for another favor? Sure. Can you not tell anyone about this? My lips are sealed. <laughs> no problem. But seriously, you should ask Papo for advice on this. Telling a girl she's gonna make you go blind really isn't the way to go. Duly noted. I'm gonna pass out now. I'll grab you a blanket.
So I made the reservation for five and showed notice what we got to work like and stuff. Do you know what's going on with that? Um, Papito, sit down. Ijo, your father had to go ahead by himself. But he's gonna meet us later for dinner. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, watch your mouth, young man. I think he's angry and he has every reason to be. You bet I'm angry. You know, every time I think him and me are in a better place, he pulls some stupid shit. And I'm not gonna tell you again. But, Abito, why don't you go finish getting ready and once everyone's done, we'll head out. That boy. That boy needs our love and understanding, Bobby. You know, I told Papa that this wouldn't go over well, but he doesn't listen. I heard the rumors. I had to come see it for myself and see if it was true, that you were really dead. I can't believe it. I heard you had fallen ill. Someone told me you were really sick the last few weeks. It's so much agony. What can I say, Dad? You still got off easy. You should have suffered longer. Doña Ramona said you asked to see me. Well, here I am. I only wish I could have seen you in person to spit in your face. All those years of abuse. You passed out drunk, leaving me vulnerable to those savages that you called friends? And telling me that I would never amount to anything? That I was nothing but a whore like my mother? Well, I'm gonna prove you wrong. And I'm gonna make something of myself. I'm gonna be famous and everyone will know who I am. Right in hell, you piece of shit. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. I know you. Do you? I'm sorry, I mean, do I know you? I just lost my father and... Hi, I'm Viviana Oresti. Papa Ramirez. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. I just... I can't believe that he's gone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. No, it, it helps to have someone to talk to. We weren't a big family, it was just he and I. Was it sudden? No. But at least now he's where he belongs, at peace. Did you just lose someone? I'm visiting my wife. I'm so sorry for your loss. No, she, um, she passed away a while ago. This is actually the second time that I've come visit her since she passed away. They say it gets easier with time. Who says? Excuse me? No, I mean, who are they? Who is anyone to tell you when you should stop grieving the woman that you love? I lost my mother when I was five years old, and I still feel that loss. Who is anyone to tell you when to stop grieving? Todo a su tiempo, you know? I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish fluently. I'm sorry. Everything at its time. But anyway, I've, I've uh, taken enough of your time, you know? Thanks for noticing me and, and asking if I was okay. Hey, you wanna get a quick coffee? I would like that, yeah. So, you're from New York? Born and raised. I remember, 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 I remember growing up, all I felt was pain, I couldn't maintain the frame of insane, my father passed away and left me to live his name, so I'ma take his name in this game and bring it fame, cause still the day you die is what you arrive, no tears in my eyes cause in peace you lie, I'm gonna elevate my skills to the ills, I got the 600 wheels and the 40 acre hills.